I'm Courtney Wagner and this is In The Game. I'm here with Athletic Director of Fernandina Beach High School, Mr. Ken Rowland. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So I'm amazed. You've worked at this school for 35 years, born and raised in the area, and you've been Athletic Director for the past 28. That's pretty amazing. Well, I mean, it's been a great place to be. It's a great school uh, to work in. It's home and, uh, you know, we've had a great run here. I've really enjoyed working here. And what would you say out of the past 35 years is your favorite memory from this high school? And I'm sure there's many of them. Well, there's a lot of them. I grew up and graduated from this high school, so it goes way back. Um, but, you know, I think probably the state championship baseball game in 2003 is my personal favorite, but we've had a lot of great moments with, a, with an awful lot of great kids here. Sure. Hey, a state championship is always a great memory to have. And uh, what's going on currently with your sport programs? Well, we've got a full slate of sports here, and uh, we're really proud of, of what we've done this year, particularly our girls team just came off of the regional finals. Uh, a heartbreaking overtime loss. Our boys basketball had an awesome season this year and we're much improved in our fall sports. Cross country has been a perennial uh, state contender so we're, we're real pleased and we think we're going places. Absolutely and what do your day-to-day -day agendas look like? I know you're all over the place at all these different sporting events. Well it's a pretty hectic schedule. I mean we transition from season to season pretty quick in the Florida High School Athletic Association so from school beginning to school end, we've got something going on in day to day. There's rosters and schedules and and game day events and things like that that, that we have to do. So it's, it's pretty busy day by day. I'm sure, and I know even after this today, you have how many tennis matches? To well, go we have to? two tennis matches and we have a baseball game and a softball game. So, uh, you know, it's a busy Tuesday. Definitely keep you running around. And I know, too, you all partner with the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. How beneficial has that relationship been? That's been a great relationship for us. I mean, we're kind of out here on our own on Amelia Island. And, and what we found is that it gives us a great sports med program on a day-by-day -day basis. They provide training services for us and and we've enjoyed the relationship. It's been great for our school. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure too from the parent side, I'm sure they enjoy knowing that their children are having the best care taken of them. There's no question about that. I mean we have we have an outstanding trainer in Luke Bratton. He does a great job for us. And in terms of, of first responding to, to, to injuries on the playing field, to practices, to actually rehabbing those injuries. Mm -hmm. So we, we get a full full slate of, of, of sports med opportunities from Luke and we're really pleased with the services. Absolutely, it's great to know your students are in such good hands. Is there a certain injury you guys have seen most common or is it just kind of hit and miss? Well, it's been all over the board uh, this year, but we've seen a lot of shoulder injuries and, and you know, believe it or not, since we focused and there's such a high emphasis on concussions, we're actually seeing a lot of those. And, and you know, JOI does impact testing for us, so we have a baseline test. Uh, we're part of a pilot project that they've helped us with, so we have baseline testing for kids that have a concussion. So we have, we have sort of the beginning data, so when we treat them, then we have something to go back and look at as they, mm -hmm. as they progress through the protocols. Sure, and I know too that's been extremely prevalent in the news lately with football, especially as far as you know, these kids keep going out and playing while they have a concussion. They may or may not know it, so I'm sure it's comforting knowing you all are doing those well, levels it's, of testing. It's, it's a lot different than when I started in this business, you know, 35, 38 years ago where where you know you just had a coach that had sort of basic training in first sure, aid sure. and we can tape an ankle, but as far as having a first responder out there with a trainer to kind of be, be the eyes and when the coaches focus on the competition, it's really different. It's really a good thing. Definitely for us. a nice peace of mind to have. And how many years have you been partnered with them? What was the difference from 35 years ago to where you all well, are? Well, now we have a daily trainer that's at every home event and is every practice and, and has office hours on campus here. And he can refer as, as needed. So it's, it's, it's a great tool for the coaches where you don't have to worry about injuries. You got somebody that's actually focused on that as their full-time job. And, and like I say, Luke does a great job for us and we're really pleased with, with everything that goes on. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a great relationship for the past two and a half years actually for us. That's excellent. And do you have a specific season you look forward to the most watching? No, I mean, I, I watch them all. I mean, I, I guess I've been to probably as many games as anybody around, but we, you know, it's been a, it's been a labor of love. 
and mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I'm a baseball coach by trade, so mm -hmm. you know I'll, I look forward to that. But but you know I'm just a sports fan, and I've always have been. My daughter played three sports here in high school, so. You know, you learn to you learn to be involved in a little bit of everything. Yes, and I know you mentioned too. Uh, your daughter went to Auburn, so you would get done with football games on Friday night, drive about six hours to go see her for Absolutely. their football games next Absolutely. day. Absolutely, it's a Friday night game, to Al and then head to Auburn, Alabama. That's kind of the way yes. it's been for the past seven or eight years. Commitment but, at its finest. Well, <laughs> it's just uh, just being part of being in, involved in this business. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here, My Ken. Pleasure. We really appreciate it. My pleasure.